This year we had the fortune to have Al Chapman bring us into his shaping bay to make us two boards that Jack Reeves is glassing at sunset. We are lucky enough to go to Jack Reeves' glassing shop and have him give us a one-by-one -one tutorial of him glassing the board that Al shaped for us. They're really the, the story of big wave and surfing and shaping and building boards. To be able to get the insight to that, to go right into the shaping and glassing rooms, I feel happy for you. Jack Reeves has been glassing surfboards on the North Shore since the early 1970s. In glassing for the heavies, Dick Brewer, Mike Diffenderfer, Pat Rawson, and Al Chapman, Jack is widely considered the greatest glasser in the world. So how long have you two guys been working together? Too long. Since 1970. You don't work with guys like he works, you work. Yeah. <laughs> Dick Brewer was the guy. He was the guy who laid it all out, set it all up. Jack Reeves. I'm 73. Glass and surfboards. So, Jack, you started glass and brewers boards in 70? 71, 72. We got together and started doing some boards. I had a shop in Haleiwa. I windsurfed out that way for an hour and a half one day watching the watercolors change, watching the flying fish come, watching the deep black come. It was in the middle of July. It was a solid 25 mile an hour, beautiful wind. There was no one down there until I lived on the beach. I had my windsurfer, and it was, this is it, man. OK, surfing's your right hand. Windsurfing's your left hand. Windsurfing will make you a better surfer. Surfing will make you a better windsurfer. In those days, maybe when you guys started, it was just such a necessity, there wasn't anything here. But well, that's what my dad says, if you wanted something, you made it. And I feel like all the older guys knew about their equipment because they had to make their own boards. Well, that's how I learned. I, I learned by patching things. I started surfing here in 62. And I used to shape, and I used to do it all, but I was, I was glassing for Dick Brewer and Mike Diffender for I didn't need to be a shaper. I had the best surfboards in the world. Still do. I mean, they're, they're all over the place. OK, this is going to be orange tint. So what's going to be so different about the way you're going to do it? No, I just lift the laps. I wet out the laps by hand. The tape works pretty good, doesn't it? Anyway, this guy picked me up at the airport. I had two Diffender for blanks, nine foot Diffender for blanks, which were like gold in those days. You, I mean, blanks were difficult to get. Bill Taylor, professor, picked me up and uh, took me to Kapilani Park to a free concert and then brought me out here and took me right to Jeff Hackman's and I knocked on the door and said, well, I'm here. <laughs> Just the whole surfing thing was so much uh, more remote then.
what was your guys' best season of board building? Now or since 70? They're all the same. It's 50 years. It's really consistent. Consistent. It just There's always a board to glass. There's always a board to shape. So I'll see you a little later, OK, boss?